Hi guys, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can create a dictionary with the help of the lists that you have. So many times it happens that we have the data available in one or multiple different lists and we want to utilize those lists to create an efficient uh, dictionary so that we can uh, do our slicing and dicing and faster data processing uh, to have the mapping of key and value. So what are we going to do here is uh, based on these two lists which has products and sales we will going to create a dictionary and as you can we will see how easy it is to create a dictionary. So first of all let me execute this and uh, what I'll do is uh, I will simply say product underscore sales. I will open a curly braces and I will specify the uh, key. So products is what? product right comma sales is what sales so since products values are stored here sales values are stored here and uh, this is how I am basically going and creating the dictionary out of it so if I want now the product underscore sales here I have my dictionary indicating the product names all these different products that we have that I have and the sales values respective to these different products apart from this another way that uh, you can create or you must have seen already in my previous videos the way i have created the product and sales is by using a mapped to 1000 b mapped to 2000 but that requires a little bit of uh, knowledge of loops and uh, some other functions like uh, zip and enumerate so what i'll do is i will keep it for the later uh, videos and show you there how you can use really utilize the loops and uh, these advanced function to create a proper or a dictionary which in a required format okay quiz time dictionary from list first create two lists which are mentioned below and then create a dictionary from these two lists if you find any difficulty in creating that just look the video again or even after that if you still are not able to create it let me know your question in the comments and i will respond to you